Hello everyone, welcome. This is going to be a reading for all signs. We're going to be looking at your person's feelings today, seeing what's going on with your current connection, the person you are currently connected to. So let's see. What are the messages? Love messages. Okay. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. We also have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. It seems to me like there's a relationship that some of you didn't think would work out or don't think will work out. You're on the verge of kind of moving on from this. We have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I am getting the message that this could be your person. Finally deciding to express their love. And I feel like I'm hearing on the way out. So it seems like it's right when you decide that you are going to leave. Is when this person decides to step up. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this is someone who does have a lot of work to do. Or maybe they've been working on themselves. But the issues in this connection does seem to stem from somewhere a lot deeper with this person. Okay. All right. What else is going on with this connection? They're keeping their, their issues hidden. Or they have been. Okay. We got money versus love. We have dream come true. Redacted and optimistic optimism. So this person, this is someone who has been hiding their true feelings or their true struggles from you. Now trying to make things right. They may have had some money issues. They may have had to really focus on fixing their financial situation for some time. Okay. Let's take a look at what's going on. Show me this person's energy right now. When it comes to this relationship, what is this person's energy? Yeah. Sudden change of heart. At one point, there was a lot of conflict. I feel like as soon as they see you walking away, they start to feel like they need to make things right. We do have this judgment card here. I feel like this person has pushed you away quite a bit. And they're starting to realize that now. What is this person's next action when it comes to this connection? Queen of Wands. Two of Cups. Seven of Wands. This is like a... Why is it like this sudden change of heart? I mean, it's so, I feel like this person kind of pushed you away with the seven of wands, pushed you away to the point where you didn't even think that this relationship is possible. Definitely you are on the verge of walking away or are on the verge of walking away right now. And it's like, there's this sudden change of heart. There's this queen of wands energy. There's this passion and they're ready to make this connection go to the next level i get the feeling that some of you are just like not even putting faith into it it's kind of unbelievable we do have with this card it says your soulmate may be different from usual type and expectations it could be that you weren't expecting to move forward with this person i'm also getting the message that some of you may end up with someone else and that really depends on the type of person that you're dealing with okay near future for this connection wow you i feel like this this four of swords is you you put in a lot of thought into this trying to figure it out because when this person comes towards you it's like it's not some i, I don't feel like a lot of you are just welcoming this person back you may have had to get over this person and rebuild your strength and everything. And there's this soft spot for them, but there's also the fact that you have to think about this a lot before making a decision with this four of swords. This full card does take does tell me that some of you may take the leap, but it will be after a lot of thought. Like you can be thinking about this a lot. Any additional message? Yeah, you're going to have to make up your mind. You're probably going to hermit mode trying to figure this out. 
you know some of you may be dealing with a scorpio we got um a virgo energy here and leo and cancer let's take a look at this person's feelings let's look at a spread for you okay what's going on with this connection how is this person feeling I'm seeing that currently this person is really holding back no wonder you don't believe in this connection <laughs> this person whether this is their current energy or recent past they have been holding back with this page of swords i do see this person delivering to you the truth And I feel like it's to do with what they've been holding back because they have been holding back from you when it comes to information about themselves. So they may come and reveal the truth. But I do see this energy of them pulling away, holding on to the relationship, yet still kind of pulling away. They do... This is so complicated with this person. They're so back and forth. It could be a Capricorn for some of you. Position of what you need to know is the devil. This goes with this healing family issues card because this tells me this person has a lot of healing to do and this is what's affecting their behavior right now or in the recent past. So this person really needs to figure themselves out. <laughs> we have with the queen of pentacles, this energy of them wanting to be that person. It's like they want to be that person that you want them to be, but this devil gets in the way. This is why you have to think twice about them when they come forward because the success of this relationship kind of depends on whether or not they've tamed this beast or not. With their next move being the Knight of Swords, this is them coming towards you very suddenly and out of nowhere and unexpectedly. They do want to come to you and reveal the truth, be open and honest with you. But I feel like it's you who has a hard time believing in this connection. Okay, let me see. Why the Three of Cups? So some of you may have may have decided okay well okay you may have or you may soon decide to kind of stop trying to communicate with this person like you may tr stop trying to communicate with them and go off and do your own thing is what i'm seeing because they are seeing you as kind of going out being free being like carefree and you know just living your life here why did i just taste coffee i don't drink coffee <laughs> Okay, this person, they are, they're seeing you as kind of being out there and free and living your best life. You got all this positive energy going on. There's Leo energy here. Why the four of pentacles? Eight of wands. Wow, they, it's like they're kind of torn and they will want to reach out to you. There's something about this person that is just not, I mean, no one's perfect, but why is it that they run towards you when they feel like they're losing you? Why the Seven of Swords? Yeah, there's a lot of swords. When it comes to their feelings, they're giving this a lot of thought. They may have refused to see how they felt about you in the past. Like kind of, you know, when someone lies to themselves about how they feel about someone, trying to play it off. But I feel like the more they see you kind of drifting away, 
the more they feel the need to give the relationship another chance. But you have to take into consideration this devil who keeps getting in the way. Why the Ace of Cups? Yeah. This person, like, there's something, like, they... It's either every time they think about it or, or every time they try to do it. Every time they decide to offer you this love, they, they kind of change their mind or they just... I don't, it's like there's ego getting in the way as well. With this person... With this Four of Pentacles being in reverse now, I do see that this person is working on this type of behavior, working on letting go of that way of dealing with things. Why the Knight of Swords? Yeah. They may have been at a standstill for a while. They may have thought that you were going to come towards them. It seems like they're deciding to make that move because all they're seeing is you not coming towards them, but instead having a good time, living your life. Why the devil? Clarify the devil, please. Page of Cups. Okay. There is this there is this energy of this person kind of feeling unfulfilled whenever whenever you guys are in separation or not seeing eye to eye or not speaking, then there's that need to come back to you with an apology, with a little sad little face, a little puppy face. And I do feel like when you do take them back, like in the past you may have taken them back and then they start pushing you away. It's like, it's this devil I feel that is making this person fearful of closeness. So they're needing to work on that to get rid of this guy here, to be able to be with you because this, this devil energy is, is like tearing you guys apart. They are very fearful of change. This person is fearful of the unknown and change. Every time they try to move on from you, they cannot get you out of their head. There may be a lot of changes happening in the, in the relationship that they run from. And then when they run, they see that there's change happening all around them as well. So they run back to the relationship and it's just like a vicious cycle until they deal with the root cause. Why the King of Swords? Yeah, this person's, they're gonna, yep, the moon. Could be a Pisces for some of you. When they're coming at you with intentions of telling you the truth, telling you what's going on with them, opening up to you, it's gonna be them revealing their feelings of rejection, possibly things that happened in their childhood, things that may be shocking for you, and things that they've kept hidden for a long time with this moon card. So, let's see what we got here. Okay. We have quality time. We've got loyalty and spiritual gift. You may be spending time together. I feel like this person does miss the one person who they feel is loyal, but they keep, it's something about you that scares them away at the same time. Some of you may have the spiritual gift of being able to read this person and they don't like being read or exposed. Like you may bring up things and, and that may make them realize, oh my God, I'm being read and you know, exposed. So they try, they kind of run away. And when they run away, they find themselves unhappy and they come back with this apology. It's like back and forth, back and forth. And I see that a lot of you are fed up with it, ready to let it go. But here we have someone who's about to spin your block. Past is returning. At this point, it's like work on the issue so that 
when they do well they need to work on the issue not you they need to work on the issue so that when they come back they're here to stay and they don't get scared and run away because now even if they've been working on their issues and they've made progress now they're having to deal with the fact that you're not going to take them back right away you're going to be thinking about this because they may have already hurt you what other messages here for this connection something better not a chance by all means maybe so some of you are going for this some of you are not some of you may have found something better or still believe that there's something better i mean there can there can be this reading is just telling you how this person's feeling so they feel like they should give it a chance they feel like you know it can work but it's also kind of wrapped around the fact that they just run back to you because they feel like they're losing you so again it comes down to have they made progress have they put in the work we have the return of aphrodite temple birth of the goddess guidance goddess energy treating as sacred so you might be going through a transformation or this person might be going through a transformation if it's them then there's a chance if you're going through a transformation you're probably not trying to look back so it's going to be difficult for them wander voyage crossing deep waters pilgrimage journey of the soul so this is a lot of you this is a karmic situation where it's a part of your healing your journey we have letting go allowing a higher force to take charge and we got experiments manipulation of nature forcing change cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance so this person i mean this is like the devil card this is like devil behavior toxicity the way they usually did things So I see why some of you are not taking this back, taking this person back. Seeing this person as just a, for some of you, this person was just a, um, just a part of your, your journey here in life, going through this karmic situation to learn. Others of you, there could be a chance or it could just be them believing that there's a chance. You know what I mean? because this person as long as they're fighting with this devil they're gonna still be they're gonna be filled with fear if they haven't tamed the beast so it really depends on what they've done it depends on where you're at and where you're going but i do see a lot of you giving it thoughts and it will be then that you'll know what to do Okay, so this is just how they're feeling, what their next move is, and the rest is up to you. So this is what I'm seeing. I hope this was helpful. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Let me know if it resonates. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.